actually that always used to happen didn't it deadlines and all that <laughs> indeed yes yeah. now then a dead an exhibition dedicated to kelville's world war one soldiers has found a new temporary home alongside shoppers. The display of 50 life-sized wooden cutouts faced a bit of an uncertain future when its run at the market hall in the town finished. But for now, at least, well, that's the problem solved, as Jodie Law reports. Brave, courageous, heroic. The famous 50 exhibition tells the stories of the first civilians to volunteer for the First World War from Colville. Now it has a new home in the town's local co-op store. I think shoppers are really, really benefit from having it here. It's, it's something extra to do when they come shopping, but also we ask the shoppers to help us plan it out and, you know, which angle to put them at and what, what gaps we should leave. And we had people in wheelchairs going around, you know, giving us advice so that we made sure that it was accessible to everybody. A special mural has been made to go with the exhibition. It's got the pictures of loads of different people getting involved in the whole exhibition and how it was made and what was used and stuff. And we've got information about the soldiers as well as comments from the original exhibition. We are a community retailer at Central England Cooperative and we want to back projects like this to ensure that we are at the heart of what our community wants to know and learn about. And we think projects like this are vital for not only showcasing our values as a cooperative but also showcasing the history of the local area. Last year the wooden cutouts were sent out to schools, colleges and community organisations. Hundreds of people were involved in decorating them. Now shoppers here at the co-op have the chance to learn about the history of Colville's famous 50. It's really lovely, um, it gives a real sense of pride. We saw it in the marketplace and uh, we're really pleased they brought it down here. It's very informative and I like the idea of um, the soldiers, the ones who survived are white and the ones that didn't are black from the back. Those behind the exhibition hope it will be taken on tour around the country but for now it's on show in the co-op. Jodie Law, BBC East Midlands Today, Colville. That's a great idea to have an exhibition in a supermarket. Because it'll be seen by loads of people. Yeah, and it else. perks up your shopping experience. Indeed. OK, <laughs> yeah, time now for the weather. We've let Anna in.